Yeah, it wasn't a pretty game today uh, on both sides. Uh, the defense contributed this in this one and factored in heavily. Uh, we didn't uh, execute to our normal level, particularly in the fifth and sixth innings from a defensive standpoint or, or from the mound. Uh, but late, I, as we've done so many times, uh, w we don't give in uh, from an offensive standpoint. We keep coming. That's the relentless approach that we've been able to adopt and, and build on. Uh, so while this wasn't the prettiest one, it's, it's still a good way to close out the homestand. Can you talk about uh, Rutledge and Hanning's performance today? Yeah, you know, Rutt comes off the bench as he's done the last couple of days, and he's been such a good place offensively. Um, you know, since he's come over here last September, uh, he's made a fundamental adjustment. He's become a little bit more of a threat with the bat, made a couple of defensive plays that were a key up the middle, particularly on the overshift. Uh, and anytime you can go to your bench and step in and, and we don't seemingly skip a beat, I think it says a lot about the depth of the roster. Does the offense mask the uh, deficiencies with the starting rotation when you consider that over the seven-game homestand, uh, starters gave up four runs a game? On yeah, we've, we've got areas to improve upon. Uh, we're, we're working at that. Um, you know, and, and while we're in a little bit of a state of flux in the rotation, working to get a couple of guys back, uh, you know, Sean O'Sullivan steps in, he makes a couple starts, we win both games. So uh, an offense as we're, we're operating at right now, yeah, it can cover up some, some miscues in some other areas. John, with O'Sullivan, was his performance kind of in line with what your guys' expectations were for these two games? Yeah, you know, he's going to come in, he's going to throw strikes, and, and unfortunately we've designated him here today to, to create a roster spot. So um, that corresponding move will, will take place tomorrow. But... Uh, he's a dependable guy. You kind of know what you're going to get. Uh, typically, he's going to throw the ball over the plate as he did against Oakland. Uh, a couple of walks mixed in today, but uh, still, uh, there, there's a pretty clear understanding what he's going to provide. From your vantage point, the game, the sunlight, the time, the time being like 2002, how hard was the track? I mean, what was your view when the ball kind of dropped ahead and you out of the game? Yeah, the wind played uh, a little bit of havoc today. Um, you know, just as you mentioned, the elements are, are there, but, you know, on a day game here in Fenway, so many things can, can take place, and there was a mixture of it all today. But we caught a break, you know, whether it was miscommunication on the part of Springer and Gomez uh, to let the ball drop in, and then Mookie drives the ball in the right center field gap for the, the difference maker in this one. Um, yeah, that's, that's one of the beauties of the game. You, you've got to play the elements. Yeah, uh, John, what are your uh, hopes or expectations in terms of a guy like Hannigan who I assume was mostly defense, but can, can you know, swing the bat. I mean, is he an in, in, integral part of your offense, or is you look, looking mostly for the defense out of him? He, he's a competitive at bat. Uh, you know, I don't even look at the batting average with Hanny. Uh, he, there's a competitive bat every time he steps in a box. Uh, he can do some things as far as, you know, manufacturing a run, move a runner over, hit behind a runner. Uh, he, he's a veteran guy that knows the strike zone, knows his, his strengths, and, and maybe his limitations as a hitter. So, you know, he... he Against Houston, <laughs> seemingly uh, it's it reared its head in a positive way, multiple at bats for him. How nice is it to see not just the, the home run swing from Xander, but another ball he drove deep to, to center field and, and kind of the all fields power that he's shown? With. Yeah, he, he's in a really good place uh, offensively. Um, a lot of confidence. Uh, you know, there's a lot of hard contact. Even his outs are, are, are well struck. So uh, anytime he comes to the plate right now, you're seemingly something is going to positive take place. And and he's been right in the middle of many of the offensive outbursts we've had. John, seven-game homestand, uh, he scored 10 or more runs in, in five of these games. Just about the approach to the plate, what during that stretch has really impressed you the most? That we're getting contributions from every guy. Um, you know, whether it's a guy spelling someone, whether it's, you know, against left-handed starters, Chris Young stepping in and doing his job, or it's Rutt today uh, with three base hits uh, coming off the bench. David with big moments, as we know, but uh, we're getting contributions up and down the lineup, and, and it's it's fun to be a part of right now. Is there a corresponding move for the Sullivan move? Uh, that'll be tomorrow. A hitter you're, you're expecting, right? Excuse me? It would be a hitter you were expecting to bring back? Likely, yeah. Um, Brock Holt ejected in the seventh, seventh inning. Do you get an explanation for that? It seemed like kind of a quick trigger on that. I think he said something Joe West didn't appreciate.